Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk to you guys about the Hoya close-up filters. So ever since I made the what's in my camera bag video, this has been a pretty requested video to follow up, I guess. I'm making a follow-up video right now and I'm just going to show you guys, literally I'm going to show you with my camera what I can get with these filters and why I use them. I do use these pretty interchangeably with my regular macro filter, but sometimes I think these just produce a completely different look and they can fit right in your back pocket. They're really light and you don't have to change lenses in order to take a macro shot. So that's why I gravitated towards these. I do have them in the 77 millimeter size and I did order them through Amazon. They came in a set of three. They come in magnifications plus one, plus two, and plus four. My most used ones are plus one and plus two. I'm gonna show you examples of all three of these lenses, what they can produce, or these filters rather, and what they can produce. So stay with me and I'll show you what I can do with them. Okay, so I've gotten out my styling board here and I have some stationery from a recent real wedding that I photographed in Baltimore. And I just have some vintage stamps up here and my wedding rings down here. Just some stuff that I have available in the office. So just to show you the first shot, I'll take a shot um, and I'm just gonna see, this is as close as this lens will let me get. And I'm gonna show you what I can get using this 35 millimeter. Then I'm gonna take the plus one filter and I'm gonna take a shot of the details with that filter as well. Now I'm gonna switch to the plus two filter. And then I'll show you the plus four filter. Next, I'm gonna show you guys a really cool trick that you can do with these filters. You can actually stack them. And I've decided to actually turn this so that I'm getting side light from the window instead of backlight, because I think I'm gonna like this a lot better, especially when I'm this zoomed in. Yeah, that's awesome. That's so much better. So that's how I use these macro filters. It's really nothing super complicated. I hope that gives you a little bit of insight into how I use them and how each filter looks a little bit different and produces a different look. If you have questions, further questions about these, please leave them in the comment section below. I would also love to know what videos you guys would like to see from me in the future. So if you like this video, please like it, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Are you sleepy, Forky? Say hello, everyone. My name is Jack Jack. Hello. All right, you can go back to bed now. <laughs>